well, it makes sense. If you get less energy in than you need, you're going to burn everything that comes in, regardless of what the composition is. So the studies that were done in calorimeters, fixing diet composition at a reduced level, showed no effect on weight. But then along comes the Atkins diet, right? And so, sure enough, the people on the Atkins diet are saying, oh my gosh, we're losing more weight on the low carb uh, than on the low fat. And we became interested in this, and we did several studies looking at the Atkins diet. The first one we did, we actually gave them a plan. Okay, now we're not fixing in energy intake. We're saying, follow the low fat diet. Here's how uh, we gave them a book to follow the low fat diet. Here's the Atkins book, follow the low carb diet. So what happened is, at three and six months, we found significantly greater weight loss with the Atkins diet than with the low fat diet. Now, many other people have had the same thing. We've got lots of studies now of low carb diets, and what we find is oftentimes in the beginning, weight loss is much greater with the low carb than the low fat diet. Now, what we know is it's probably not an oxidation effect, it's probably more other effects. So with low carbohydrate, uh, you're probably losing water, so that's some of the early thing, but more likely it's an effect back on appetite. So we don't know that they were eating the same number of calories, and I would argue that almost certainly they weren't eating the same number of calories. So in the short term, the low carbohydrate diet worked pretty well, and um, you remember back when Atkins was the craze and it was just everywhere and you go to Burger King and you get the burger on lettuce and it didn't even have the buns and it just really, it really took the country by storm, but not so much anymore. And, and, and why is that? Well, the why that is, is because then most of the studies showed that over time you tended to regain it and that low fat and low carb didn't make a difference. Okay? So it's not that the weight loss didn't occur, it was the inability to sustain it. So we did a follow-up study, and our follow-up study, we, care we didn't fix intake, it was an outpatient study, but we were very careful to give everybody the same rigorous behavioral control. Okay? And what did we find? We found that, in fact, when we did that, we had absolutely no difference between weight loss on the low and and uh, low fat and low carb diet. Now notice that on both diets you're beginning to gain weight. So we can't hold, we can't say the low carbohydrate, we can't hold it to a higher standard because low fat diet regained it. Now what this study allowed us to do, I'm not going to show you that, but because weight was the same, we could look at other factors and risk factors and cholesterol and all that. And the long and short of it is you're perfectly fine losing weight on a low carb diet or a low fat diet. All your risk factors improved, or most of your risk factors improved. And, the way I would see it is weight loss trumps diet composition. And then other people, here's a study by Frank Sachs at Harvard um, showing the same thing. Uh, strong behavioral control, it doesn't matter what happens to the diet, same amount of weight loss, but everybody regains it. They can't even keep weight off at Harvard. What hope do we have in Colorado? <laughs>